Hello again, everybody. This is your second Monday Minute this month. You remember what we talked about last week? I hope you do. We talked about God having a domain. A lot of people want to say, where is God's domain? In the spirit or in the natural? It's neither. The domain of God is supposed to be in you. You're supposed to be controlled and let Jesus Christ have dominion in your life. This week, I want to continue our study and go into gods.com. Dot com. What is gods.com? Did you know God has a dot com? He, he has a, a, uh, his own location. He has his own connection with you. He has his own way of being with you. See, a lot of us were getting more connected to the carnal world, world, but long before the internet existed, did you know that I had an online connection called the Holy Ghost? The Holy Spirit was an online connection. I was connected with God long before the internet existed. And the demonic spirits, the spirit of Antichrist, is trying to emulate the spirit of God by having a connection with you in this natural world through demonic spirits. I want you to understand. So we need to understand what the word calm means. C-O-M, okay? And this word calm is all through the Bible. You didn't know it, but we're going to go into some words that have the word calm in. Calm is a prefix, and it has a meaning. I'm going to tell you what calm means now. Are you ready? Here we go. Calm means with, together, together as one, to form an association with, uh, an intensive force causing one to be completely committed. The word calm means to be joined together with. It means to be made complete with. It means an intensive force that's calling you to be joined together, to come together. See, calm, calm, you're not just going on the internet, but you're actually being joined by spirits based on where you go. The spirit of the world is trying to control us. Gods.com. See, gods.com is different than the world. Gods.com is totally different. We're controlled by the Holy Spirit. We don't have lust for things. We don't have lust for money. We don't have lust for things in this life. We are controlled by God. So gods.com is powerful. Today, I want to start with a calm word that unifies us. Okay? Long before dot com existed, God, through his word, was trying to make people be gathered together as one, to come together in agreement as one, to have an association with, to have an intense power that brings us together as one. Do you know what one of those words are? Well, today, we're going to talk about commandment, commandment, calm, to be joined together with, to be brought together with, okay? Commandment, calm, man, meant. Um, when you break these three prefixes down, they actually have a powerful meaning. I'm going to, you know what calm means? It means to be brought together with through association, to be made one, to be joined with by an intense force. What does manned mean? Manned means a demand. Demand. Manned is demand. Meant means which requires action. So the commandments of God are, are a demand of God that requires an action in our life to be made one with him. Isn't that powerful? Calm. To be made one with. Manned. A demand from God. Meant. Requires action. Commandment. So you're coming in contact with God's spirit to be made one. Now there's a demand being put on you each and every day. The world's putting demands on you, but the Holy Spirit's putting demands on you to see if you're going to be made one with Jesus Christ. Amen? Um, I want to um, go to a scripture here. Mark 7, 6 through 9. Mark 7, 6 through 9. So I want to talk about that right now with you. My phone's ringing, but it's okay. See, that's the world. It's trying to get a hold of me now. But my focus is on the Spirit. Amen? Um, Mark 7, 6 through 9. He answered and said unto them, Wealth, Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their mouth is far from me. Their heart is far from me. Excuse me. How be in vain do they worship me, teaching for the doctrines, the commandments of men. First thing you've got to do is there's a lot of us following commandments of men that are not in the Bible. You will not be unified with God following religion, following tradition, or commandments of men. You have to obey his word, okay? Um, yeah, he, Jesus said you've obeyed the commandments of men. You've replaced traditions with the true commands of God. Um, here in Mark 7, 9, and he said to them, Full well you reject the commandment of God that you may keep your own traditions. We're doing stuff. A lot of people go to church, they go through traditions, but that does not mean that you're obeying God's commands, okay? 
Those commandments of God are trying to make us be unified with God. Amen? So, you, either men or doctrines of men have tried to reign in your life, making you ignorant of the true commandments of God. Um, God wants to reign. He wants to rule and reign. So, you need to know the commandments of God, and those are found in the Bible. Okay? Um, in the Bible. The word commandment in the Old Testament means an order, a thing to be done, a precept, a relating to lineage, a command. Well, that's our Monday Minute for today. Um, I'm just taking a few of your time. I really ask that you get this series. It's going to teach you a lot. I cannot teach you what you need to be taught in just a few minutes. Um, you're being unified with the spirit of the world every time you go to that internet. Calm, calm, calm. You've got to follow God, God's commandments. Right now, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I stretch my hand toward those individuals. I ask God the Holy Spirit would flow across this screen. And God, that they would be impacted to get this series, God, and that they would reject the spirits of the world and that they would become one with you. Your, your dot com. Your reigning, God. Your commandments. God, we thank you today and we praise you. If you want this series, it's 12 or more than 12 hours of teaching. Um, you can get it. Simply send a love gift to $40. Go to ferventfire.com. Press donate. When we get that $40 and your address and stuff, we'll send it to you. We'll send it to you. We want to give it to you into your hands. Um, you can send it by check, 315 South Sheridan Road, Tulsa, Oklahoma, 74112. That's where I'm at. Call us, 918-599-9002. Um, we'll send it $40. That's also shipping and handling included. Um, it's 12 sermons in this wonderful CD case. Um, you're going to like it. All right. See you next Monday Minute. Be blessed till then.